Are you looking to buy a home but don't want to spend a lot of money for a down payment or a closing? Well, Bank of America has a grant that's up to $17,000 that helps you take care of all of those needs. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Q, and I created the first cloud-based software that allows you to put your credit repair experience into your own hands. Guys, in today's video, I'm super, super excited because I have a banger. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a grant up to $17,000 for your home loan. This is a down payment assistance grant. Now, before we get into the video, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us actually grow within the YouTube audience and it help, allows YouTube to push this content to a wider audience and allows us to keep these lights on. Guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. Now, in today's video, I want to go and dive straight into the meat and potatoes because this is going to be an interesting one. Now, if you have everything that you need for a home loan, if you have the credit, if you have the income, you have the DTI, you have everything structured, but you just don't have a lot of cash on hand. Guys, this video is great for you because it is going to break down all of the uh, details for this particular grant with Bank of America. So let's get started. So Bank of America is giving away up to $16 billion over the course of three years. Um, so two, it's all the way, it's going all the way up to 2025 and they are looking to help up to 60,000 families with this money. So guys, if you need this money, I will jump on it ASAP. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Because Bank of America is literally giving it out and they're trying to help as many people as possible. Now, this grant for 17000 actually broken up in two different uh, grants. Um, it's a grant for your down payment and that grant is up to um, 10000 and they have a grant for your closing costs and that grant is up to 7500 now if you get both of them which a lot of people are getting um you can get up to seventeen thousand dollars for um your down payment assistance so guys that is huge so i'm going to give you guys a few breakdowns on um this loan but before we actually get into the breakdown if you have any derogatories on your credit report i mean collections charge off late payments um, medical bills, anything derogatory, guys, go up to mycreditapproved.com. It's the software that we generated that allows you to put your full experience into your own hands. Guys, this software is changing a lot of lives. It is the most affordable and the most efficient ways to remove any type of items. Guys, the credit bureaus are not responding to credit repair companies and their templates anymore. You guys have to actually send your own letters and add your personal statement. Our technology allows you to add any letter any template to get you the verbiage and also it allows you to add any personal statement to give you your own sauce your own custom tailored um, statement that the credit bureaus have to respond to guys go to mycreditapproved.com now let's talk about the breakdown of this boa loan now this is a great product and i love products that help um individuals get into uh, home loans um, a little faster especially if it can save you some cash because i know um especially right now it's a liquidity crisis and we are not having a lot of access of cash now the breakdown of this loan like i said it is broken down in two different parts one is for the down payment and one is for the closing costs now for the down payment um they are structuring where you are able to get three percent of the purchase price up to ten thousand dollars now that can be um up that can be in the between the ranges of fifty thousand dollars purchase price upwards to three hundred thirty three thousand and thirty three dollars um is really structured like that so the minimum purchase price for this um grant is fifty thousand and the highest is around three hundred and thirty three thousand and that is for the down payment assistance grant now I do want to um, add um, a little caveat to this uh, to this actual uh, particular grant. So the down payment grant is normally structured 
under a conventional approval. Now, that means that um, you have already have gotten a pre-approval from a conventional lender. Um, and this grant is structural uh, normally around conventional approvals. Now, like I said, if you have any derogatories, you need to go over to my credit approved because you need to get the derogatories off mainly for a conventional approving. But guys, this is money in the bank. This is a give of $16 billion away. Now, um, it does not have a repayment. So you don't have to repay the money back. A lot of um, the down payment assistance programs has a repayment plan, a repayment plan that you have to pay back if you um, do not stay in the property or if you default on any of their terms and conditions. So they do not have any repayment plan um, considering for this for this grant. So that is great. Um, now it only are in select markets. It's not in every state. Um, it is in select markets. It's right now. The last time I checked, I think is in 37 states. So 13 out of the 37 is not able to qualify for this grant but 37 is still a large percentages and i also heard that it could be considered taxable income now that is interesting because um i have been in the industry for a while and i've seen these different type of programs and allowing this type of income to be taxable is very interesting but i've heard that it is possible under the guidelines and how this structured is for this particular grant <clears throat> now for the closing cost grant um it is structured a little different now the guidelines for the closing cost approval grant is fha now i don't know if you know fha um have a little less um stringent guidelines for approving um you can actually get approved for a 580 now i've heard that the minimum credit requirement is around 660 um, for this approving of these grants. Um, so it really confused me a little bit because if you can get a pre-approval for a FHA with a low credit score in the 500s, um, would they still consider that pre-approval for getting you approved for the closing cost grant? Now, the closing cost grant, like I said, is upward to $7,500. Um, it also has no, um, no repayment. And um, it has FHA, like I said, FHA is probably the easiest grant to get approved for. And it, uh, like I said, does it's not as hard um, like a conventional or something like that. Let's talk about the actual requirements for the loan now. Now, um, the loan requirements, I believe is around 640, 660 um, to minimal credit score. Um, and the income is low to moderate income. Now, I do know Bank of America has a income ratio. Um, it has a income ratio um, chart where on the website where you can see where you place in, uh, as far as your income, whether it's low or moderate or high. Um, they you don't have to have a bank of american account to actually get this grant but you do have to get approved by bank of america's lender to actually get approved so if you can get approved from bank of america fha program um or the conventional program um you basically will have a lot more access of money um here at closing where you don't have to worry about actually shelling out a lot of cash to actually go for with the buying process um you don't have to be a first-time home buyer that's a good one as well um a lot of these programs are structured for first-time home buyers and this one is not so if you have multiple properties or if you want to use this property for um your main property that would be great and you do not have to be a first-time home buyer in, or, uh, in order to qualify for this guys if you found any of this information helpful please like and subscribe to the channel like i said it allows youtube to push this content to a wider audience and leave me a comment and let me know um have you heard of this product um and if you have let me know um your experience with it or have you had approved do you like the guidelines do you think they're fair um do you think that any changes can be done um, but until next time, guys, please take care of your credit and take care of yourself. Credit Coach Q out.